Say hello. Entran. I'm Vert. This is for story time. Yeah. Today is very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. What are you announcing? We're here to announce um, Shorty September. And what is Shorty September? Shorty September is um, a readathon we've done for a couple of years, or is it just one year? Yeah, this is year two. This is year two. Okay. It feels like it's been. It's so in cute. Place. So yeah. successful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's, we're here to announce the second year of Shorty September. I've had lots of people asking me, are we doing it again this year? So the answer is yes. Um, <laughs> Heather and I have put our little heads together and come up with a few new prompts. And um, we're sticking to a lot of the old uh, prompts, which we think, you know, should be maybe sort of permanent uh, fixtures in Shorty September going forward um, with the help of Anne Wynne as well. And uh, yeah, so we're going to go through the, the prompts. But we should probably say what Shorty yeah, what, September is. What is Shorty September? You said it was a readathon, but what, it's what a read is it? What is it? Obviously, it? it's happening through all of September, in which we prioritise reading our shorty books. Uh, a short book is whatever you want a short book to be. I am going for around the two hundred page mark. So, Me too. yeah, if it's like maybe like you know two twenty, two ten pages, it's fine as well. There's no you know there's no laws. We're not going to come around and tell you off so but but if you know if you're used to reading big chunky books um a shorty to you might be like 300 pages whatever but we're saying around 200 yeah yeah um so yeah um we will at some point be doing uh, a tbr video of what we've chosen to read um for each prompt as well but we're here just to announce the prompts and show you the amazing uh pdf that Heather and Anwen have created, uh, which again this year you can uh, print off or you know just post up on Instagram or whatever TikTok, yeah. and uh, you can fill it in. Yeah. Yeah, and they've they've done a great job. Um, so thank you so much, Heather and Anwen. Um, if they if people don't want to do prompts, they could just be short books. Can oh they? yeah, you don't. Have but you to could probably they're loose enough that you could probably fit them in. I think, can't they? Yeah. More or less. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think so. Sean already has like a stack of her short books. I know lots of people have been putting their short books together in preparation um, so if you just wanted to read those that's fine if you just wanted to sort of try and fit them into the prompts that's totally yeah, fine as well uh, I'm just gonna be doing you know books to the prompts but that's because that's what I like to do so. last year Heather read a book a day yes and did a vlog a day yes so you know I don't know oh I was wondering about reading a book a day not a vlog a day sounds considering reading a book a day yeah do you want to do that does anyone else want to do that too? We could try, maybe. Yeah, so there's 12 prompts. So, I mean, even if you did, like, two books for each prompt... So still that's not enough. Still, but, that's still yeah. nearly there. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah. yeah. I'm going to try and do my 12 books. Okay. If I can manage that, I doubt it. You can manage 12 books. Yes. Yeah. Do you want to tell us what the prompts are? So, we'll go through the prompts, first of all. Um, okay. So, the first prompt is classic. Had to be in there, once again. Shorty Shorts prompt, um, and uh, that is to read a book from the 70s or 80s, the era from which we associate Short Shorts. Um, next up is another last year classic, um, Denim Shorts, uh, which is to read a modern classic. <laughs> so read it, a modern classic is, you know, whatever you have decided is a modern classic, really. So, I mean... I have a lot of like the actual sort of vintage modern classics or penguin modern classics, but if it's like something that you have heard lots about, say like you know, I consider maybe a year the year of rest and relaxation is a modern okay. classic. Um, you know, like uh, Shuggy Bane's a modern classic. It's too long. Uh, oh, <laughs> too long. Pisces. Uh, probably too long. Probably too long. <laughs> um, Andrea Asimov. That uh, call me by your name. <laughs> Yeah, home. The Tony Morrison. That's a shorty. Okay. So anything that you consider to be a classic doesn't have to like be officially a classic, right? Okay. Okay. Next up, we have a new one. This is one that Heather came up with, which I'm a big fan of, and that's play suit shorts. 
you know, like when the all-in-one shorts. This came about from uh, Heather being out drinking with her friends, and one of her friends was wearing a play suit um, in the pub, and she was saying how it's all fun and games until you have to go to the toilet, and then you have to like take the whole thing off. So she, Heather thought we'll do play suit shorts, and it'll be a book that you might regret later. <laughs> So that can mean whatever it could means be a horror. to you. It could be a horror because you'll be like having nightmares afterwards. Yeah. It could be a trashy book yeah. that you kind of really want to read, but you know later on you feel a little bit icky. Yeah. Um, it could be something that's just like a non-fiction that's like hard going. Yeah. Um, bleak, depressing. You know, <laughs> it's good for you, but yeah. it might not be great for you yeah. afterwards. Uh, so whatever you think is, you know, something you might regret later. It all looks good at, at first. Thinking you're living life to the max. Yeah, might be shorty September as a whole. Might be shorty September that as a whole. Uh, yeah. Regret later. Yeah. Uh, now, my favourite prompt of any readathon um, is the uh, watching a film, read a book, and then watch a film yeah. thing. So we're sticking with half and half shorts for this. It's the shorts where you have one half pattern and one half classic short design. That's just yeah, read a book and watch the movie tie in. Or, you know, like if you, I, I, I've seen lots this year on YouTube about novelizations. So you could do it the other way around. Oh, okay. You could watch a film and then read the novelization. Nice. Or, you know, you can read a, a book of like a, a favorite series or something like that. So it could be like, you know, a Star, Star Trek novel um, that maybe not relates to an exact episode or movie of Star Trek. Um, Sean was considering. I was thinking Paper Girls. Paper wasn't Girls it? for because, this. Um, there's a new series coming out. Um, so I've read the first two. So I might. Um, I, it's not going to be my. It's not my official choice. Not official. But I might sneak it in as well. Yeah, so anything, that'd be a good one. Anything like that. That there's, I guess, like a visual that you can match to the book. Mm. Um, okay. The next one is uh, another new one, which Sean came up with, which is. Cargo shorts. Do you want to explain how you I came up thinking, with this one? Well, because um, there were some books I couldn't fit into the prompt, mainly. mainly. I was thinking cargo shorts would be something like something a bit outdoorsy, maybe. So when you're hiking, so it mm. could be something around like nature. Yeah. Um, or maybe a little bit of adventure, if you yeah. want, as well. So we've, we've put this down as read a book um, that has something to do with nature. So it's quite loose. It can be... A non-fiction about nature. Mm. Um, it can be like a, an adventure set in nature. Lumberjanes. Uh, Lumberjanes. <laughs> uh, you know that that book about mushrooms that everyone seems to be reading. Um, anything, uh, a, you know, a killer creature kind oh, of okay. sort of thing. Um, that's all nature. Mm. Um, last year we had Scott. We're doing that again this year, which is you know the the, the part. Short part skirt mm -hmm. to escort. Yes. <laughs> um, this is a book that mixes genres or doesn't fit into any specific genre. So it's, you know, those those books that you're not really quite sure what they're going to be or they sort of seem to blend, you know, whatever, sci-fi, non-fiction, uh, mishmash sort of books. Uh, Ripped Shorts, another of my favourites from last year, that's staying in. Rip Shorts is, um, you have the option to either read a slasher or a murder mystery. Yeah. So I know lots of you don't read horror. Um, I think sometimes it's quite hard to get hold of, like, slashers and stuff in the UK, specifically secondhand. There's not that many, like, new ones always that are available that are short. Uh, so. so one I read last year for this was the V Castro one, which yeah. is like, Hairspone Switchblades. Yeah. And that was that's part of a series which is all really short yeah. horror books. Yeah. So that might be an option. You can link there. that below. Yeah. Maybe you can have a little look on there. Um, another new one, Lifeguard Shorts. <laughs> um, we've been watching Stranger Things. Uh, oh yeah. Season three. Yeah. There's a bit of, sort of lifeguard yeah. action going on, so I wonder if that inspired. Maybe. Uh, this. So, lifeguard shorts, it's a beach read. Yeah. That's a really nice one, just like a summer, lying by the beach, lying by the pool, 
on either summer sort of read. Watery. Watery, fun, you know, kind of easy read. Yeah. Um, <laughs> one of my favourites from last year's runway fashion shorts. Yay. You know, the shorts they wear on uh, fashion shows <laughs> in the run on the runways. <laughs> They're really fashion High class, like high fashion shorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know. Um, we've changed the prompt though for this to read a book with a beautiful cover. Oh, nice. So something, you know, runway fashion -y. Yeah. You know, something yeah. about a cover that really sort of, you know, you keep looking at it, speaks to you. It's the, maybe the reason you bought it. Mm. Anything with a beautiful cover. Lovely, that's a good one. It's, it's nice and loose. You can yeah. pick whatever you want. Here's a new one that Heather came up with. <laughs> 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 uh, this might be a little bit tricky, but we like to challenge you uh, in Shorty September. So we have the Emperor's New Shorts. <laughs> Uh, like the Emperor's New Clothes. Is that what the thing is? Emperor's yeah. New Clothes. Yeah. Emperor's New Clothes. Emperor's New Shorts. So they're not really even shorts. Um, this is a book with an unreliable narrator. <laughs> not always easy to know beforehand. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, so a book that you sense might have an unreliable narrator. That's kind of what I'm going with. Yeah. Because like I don't want to Google... <laughs> and you know, miss a twist in a book. I'm going one that you read last year, so you okay. think it has an unreliable yeah, yeah. narrator. So. A book of an unreliable narrator like the Emperor telling yeah. us he's got shorts on, but yeah. he hasn't. Uh, next up, boxer shorts. Mm -hmm. This is one from last year, I believe. This is a comfort read. So, yeah, whatever you find comfort in. Uh, could be like a cozy crime, could be, you know, like a, uh, a tie into a series you like. Whatever. How, how do you find uh, comfort in what, what? What's your comfy reads? Um, I find this one a tricky one to mm. choose from. In this, could be like a young adult. Yeah, I was thinking young adult is often my yeah my comfort read. Yeah, yeah. or like middle grade. Or yeah, whatever you. It's just got to be short. Go to as a short mm. comfort read. Um, a graphic novel there graphic as well. Novel, maybe. Yeah, they're quite good for anything this. at all. Could be a book of poetry. Yeah. Um, and finally. Another one we had from last year is Bermuda Shorts. Yes. This time, we've changed the prompt. We basically swapped some prompts around. So we've put it as read a translated book. Because you wear Bermuda Shorts on holiday. Yeah, abroad. don't think too closely about it. Don't, don't question yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Where would you wear? You'd be wearing your Bermuda Shorts maybe like on holiday Spain. in Spain. <laughs> uh, so you need to learn the language. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, a translated book. From anywhere. Choosing. Yeah. yeah, from anywhere. It doesn't yeah. have to be Spain. No. <laughs> um, uh, as long as it's short. You know, extra points for wearing these shorts um, whilst reading those books, okay. obviously. I literally um, don't own a pair of shorts. You've I've got one. You've I've just got, got, got the cut-off shorts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You'd just be reading slashers all, all yeah. September. Yeah. Uh, so those are the prompts. It's very exciting. Um, so, yeah. Um, expect a video from Heather very soon as well. Um, and yeah, that is it. We will put the PDF download underneath. Can we do that? And that's it. Uh, yeah. Join us for reading short books. Yeah, we'd love to see your like TBRs that you that you make. Um, yeah. Anything you come up with in the run up to Shorty September. Hashtag Shorty September. Hashtag Shorty September. Let's go with that. Yeah. Or should we go Shorty September twenty two? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, each year when it gets bigger and bigger. Yeah. yeah. Okay, hashtag Shotty September 22. September 22. Uh, thanks so much. Yay, bye. Bye-bye.